Hi everyone, welcome to N Simple Art. My name is Ellen. In this channel, I will share skills and tips of watercolor painting. And today, I'm going to demonstrate steps of how I paint a simple red rose. But before that, you guys are always welcome to subscribe my channel and follow me on Instagram N Simple Art. start with a slightly damp paper therefore I will brush it with water all over the area that I'm going to paint because by doing this the color that we apply after that will go smoothly on the paper You can see here, I mainly paint on the outer area which will be the shadows on the petal. Then I use a clean brush gently blend it out to create a smooth texture. And then based on that, we can add on the second layer with a darker color in order to strengthen the color contrast. So here I applied the dark cherry red on the edges of the petal as the second layer and then I used a clean brush to blend it out. Basically, I just repeat the same steps. Sometimes we may need to apply a couple more layers of color in order to achieve the perfect color intensity that we want. Another tip is remember to blend the edges with a clean brush every time after you apply a new layer of color so that it will obtain a smooth texture. Then I'll just simply do the same on the other petals. When it's dry, the colors may look different, so that's why I will do a bit of adjustment by adding more color on the shadow area, or I will apply a few more layers on the previous petals.
on how dense of the color or the contrast that you would like after the multiple layers and touch up that I did on each petals then I'll start to work on the details with the tiny pointy brush The tips here is to not apply a huge amount of paint on the area that you are going to work on. It's better to do it bit by bit. If the paint is not enough, then you just simply add on more. It is because if something goes wrong, unfortunately, you will still able to remove it or correct it. When I work on the vein of the petal, I want to create a fine solid line so the paints that we use shouldn't be too watery as well as the paper. Another thing is patience is very very important. Just gently draw the vein on the petal with different length and thickness so that we can make it look organic. This is the final result of the painting. As you can see here, I'm trying to achieve very soft and dreamy effects. By following the steps, I'm sure you can do it as well. If you enjoyed the video and find it useful, please give me a like, share this video, and leave me a comment. Thank you so much for watching. Before you click away, you can also follow me on Instagram and Simple Art. I'll see you very soon with another painting video, so stay tuned and see ya!